Okay, well, I finally got the genetic algorithm working. That's what this whole program was for. <laughs> um, now we're seeing if they can learn how to do it. And it looks like... Well, it's hard to tell. Basically, we're, uh, my little brother came up with this one. We're seeing if we can get a mass uh, of amount down to the goal, which is down here. I don't know if you can see that. There's a green pixel. Um, there were very few getting down here. In fact, there was almost none. It looks like we are beginning to get enough to at least keep this information in the gene pool. Uh, so eventually, most of them should have that information and come down here. But we'll see. We will see. I'd say there's a good chance. Um, just so you have two metrics to look at. Uh, I don't know if you can see them. Um, but over here, there's two text boxes. Uh, this one's the current rounds, or the last round's best score. And this is the percentage chance that this best score will be a parent for the next round. I think more and more are getting down in this corner, so we should see it soon-ish. Well, maybe not. It's it's so hard to tell. The way that the fitness score is, the ones that are making it down here aren't that much better than the ones that are making it to here. So it's hard to determine that this is actually better. Like, if this same setup, well, it wouldn't work anymore if it was up higher. But uh, if it was up higher, they'd figure it out much faster because the difference is so much bigger in the score that they're getting. All right, well, I'm not going to keep recording forever, so if uh, something changes, I will come back. All right, it now looks like about 50% of them are going down, so we should hit an area where more and more and more of them make it in. Because more and more and more of them now that about 50% are getting in are going to have this information. Because they're going to be more and more likely to have children. And this score has been slowly going up. So they are learning. It's just taking a while. And sometimes when the score is going down, I think the average is actually going up. I don't have the average as a metric, though, so. Oh, 201. 206. Oh, now they're beginning to enhance speed. The ones that actually know what they're doing. <laughs> 207. All right, now I think we're spreading the knowledge back out again. And now we should have more breakthroughs because more of them are going to be making it here. Yeah, 208. That's a, I think that's a new high.
I just can't figure it. Oh, 209. They removed one another move. So basically, once uh, once they get to the goal, each point in their fitness score um, is a move. So every time this goes up by one, it means they reduced uh, their move count by one. <laughs> There's still a, quite a few that drop here and quite a few that get stuck here. Which to some degree makes sense. I mean, you only have like, what? Nine pixels or ten, maybe ten that you can actually drop down. So if you accidentally mutate over to the right one or over to the left too much, you won't make it. Oh, they're getting good now. 209. Come on, 210. 210, I believe. Okay, we're dropping away. Come on. 210. <laughs> Uh, there's 209 again. It's not making it into the rest of the population very fast, though. There's 209 again. I think just about all of them have... Well, I think more and more of them are figuring out the 209-208 range. So... Oh, 215! What a jump. What a jump. Two thirteen. Yep, that's our. We've we've had a breakthrough. Oh, that was that wasn't so good. We lost our breakthrough. It might still be in there somewhere, but we have we have lost it because of mutation, probably. Well, that's a bummer. Oh, there's two ten again. Two eleven. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Two fourteen. Okay, we're back. We're back. As you can see, far fewer of them are here and here. So. That's pretty good. I'd say they pretty much have it solved at this point. They're just going to keep refining it. And I don't think there's a lot more refining to do. They're getting over there pretty quick. I mean, yeah, some of them are just up, down. They're done. So. They just, like, come over here, up here, up here, up here, up here, down here, and over here. Which I think, I think that is the fastest path. In this case is going if you go over here then straight up straight over straight up straight over straight down and straight over um, and any combination really that does that same thing as long as you aren't making any moves to the left or any moves uh, or up or down moves that you don't have to make then you should be at full speed and some of them I mean, they appear to be going almost as f fast as that move. Um, I'm not sure how many pixels that is, but if we had, if I had the A star algorithm figured out, we could figure out exactly how many moves are required and something like that. But I don't. Looks like we're kind of ending up at two ten though. It's kind of the average everyone's doing, and we did hit the two fifteen that one time. Which was good. But yeah. I think I think that's all that I'm going to run this algorithm for. They've pretty much figured out this uh, solution. There's 215 again. And they will just keep refining. Um, until they can't refine anymore. 
I mean, leave it running long enough, they would find the ideal path, and most of them would take something close to it, so. I mean, yeah, they just keep clumping up more and more together, so I think, uh, I think that's all I'm going to show for this video, though. So anyways, yeah, genetic algorithm working. I'm going to be doing more with this stuff, I think. Um, just for fun. Uh, currently, this only runs single core. I want to figure out how to make it multi-threaded eventually. But this is good for now. I need to add more data because these two numbers are not enough. Like generation number, you know, all, this, all the standard stuff. Um, adjustments, so you can adjust some things. Of like mutation rate and such but that's all gonna come later so uh yeah until next time well actually let's see if we can get this number back oh 216 that's a new record i think i wasn't paying that much attention so maybe they did better but yeah, now they're averaging above the 210 mark for the best so <laughs> That means they have gotten better just since I was doing the outro. I, well, I say outro. Not much of an outro. Because I kept going. Oh, they're back to the 210. Anyways. Maybe they'll do better later. I think part of it is sometimes one of them will get stuck back here. That, um... Reduces the good peoples, so I probably need some weighted minimum, right? Where I weight it against the average, just to make sure that the minimum's not a super outlier from the average, because if it happens to be an outlier, it drops the uh, rate of the really good ones getting to be apparent. So, there's a, it, it, like I say, this algorithm needs a bit of polish, but it does work. So, uh, that's a win in my book. Anyways, uh, this time for real. Until next time. Alright, so I let this run for about another hour. Uh, it's averaging about a score of 250. Uh, right there. Uh, could it get better? I mean, there's 253. Probably, but it's uh, it's taking, we're getting diminishing returns at this point. Uh, so I think this implementation of the genetic algorithm is as far as it'll get. Uh, the spot where it could use a lot of improvement is right here. Uh, it has a bad habit of running into this wall for a long time from when it was originally trained, because that would get it a good score early on, and it still gets it a decent score. So that would be hard to train out of it without moving the goal here and then here and uh, training it manually that way, which, I mean, that's supervised training and that's not as good anymore. Um, the theoretical best score I figured out was 501. So, I mean, you know, we're halfway there. But uh, I need to improve this algorithm, improve the app, and we'll see how that works later on. Anyways. Just wanted to let you know that this this is about the best it ever got. So there we go.